Hello everybody, Shrouded Hand here. This is a little bit of an impromptu video, I didn't really plan on making this, but I want to have a record of the things that seem to be happening recently. I saw something strange last night that I can't really explain. Before that, quite a lot of weird things have been happening to me. The newer viewers probably won't know, but I did one video a couple of years ago where I built a device called the... Uh, the shoebox telephone in which I attempted to contact the dead with some interesting results and there's also a video that I made a few months later which was called five ways to contact the dead with common household objects and in that video I built a device called the devil's toy box now what this device is is um, a series of six mirrors which forms a cube with all the mirror surfaces all the reflector surfaces are on the inside and apparently this is supposed to trap demons within it and it's supposed to have all these strange paranormal properties. So I built one of these devices. After that, I just stuck the box in the attic. I did plan to do more experiments with it, but for the meantime, I just put it in the attic, forgot about it. And apparently these devil's toy boxes, they get more powerful the longer you leave them. I might not have these events in the right order. I can't remember exactly because it was I'm going back two years or more. But I remember talking to some people I worked with at the time about making a video about some weird things like the devil's toy box I said and I noticed some strange things happening in my house. The most common thing I noticed was the sound of someone walking around in the hallway. Now a lot of times back then I was doing my video editing on a laptop downstairs so I'd be up late at night sat on my sofa in the front room. The door next to the sofa where I'm sitting leads to the hallway and the hallway leads to the front door. And I would hear the sound almost as if someone was trying the front door, but this would be around 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. The thing is, from where I'm sat, I can jump up and look for a window that looks out onto the front door. I couldn't tell if it was coming from inside the hallway or it was someone outside at the front door. So I'd hear this shuffling noise. I'd jump up quick, you know, within the space of a second or two, and I'd be at the window looking out. I'd never see anyone out there on the front step or anywhere near the front door. Sometimes I'd jump up and look around through windows that looked out, out on other sides of the house. I think on one occasion I even got up and went outside to check and there was nobody there. I've also, like, of course, jumped up to check there was nobody in the hallway. By this time my wife would have been upstairs asleep, so it wasn't anybody in the house and it wasn't, from what I can see, anybody outside the house. After a while I kind of got used to it, I couldn't really tell what it is. I was able to just sit there calmly and listen to it and it would just sound exactly like someone's footsteps shuffling around sort of at the front door area, that that hallway, just shuffling up and down. I can't really remember the exact sequence of events after that. I remember I had some bad luck, which was really hindering me making videos. My computer crashed, my laptop, it completely died. I wasn't able to even recover any of the old data on it. So I saved up and bought another laptop, got that home, and it just wasn't working. It was supposed to be like a nice fast laptop, so I took it back to the shop, got a replacement. Once again, <laughs> the, the laptop just wouldn't work. I tried and tried to get it to work. It just seemed like I was having a weird streak of bad luck with computers. It seemed to work in the shop, like they got it out and tested it. I'd get it home, switch it on. It looked like it was working, but then whenever I tried to do anything, like any video editing, it just wouldn't work. So in the end, I went back to the shop replaced it again this time I spent like more money on a better computer and this time it seemed to actually work. I know I started experiencing quite a lot of um, mood changes as well. Like my mood would go down. I don't remember really experiencing anything else paranormal other than that weird shuffling footsteps but the bad luck and the sudden change in my mood. It wasn't long after that that I actually started on antidepressants. I found once I started taking them that um, I couldn't really make any videos anymore. It was like there was like a mental block. In the end, I just completely stopped making videos. I don't want to say like, oh, I went away and it was because of a ghost, as if that's some kind of excuse. I, but I did stop making videos for about two years. And so the only reason why I'm bringing them up is because I've recently started to notice more strange things happening in my house. It's mostly been strange noises. The main thing, it started happening where I'd be half asleep and I'd be sort of on the cusp of waking up and I'd put this down to the side effects of the tablets I was taking and it was, you know, probably two or three months ago I'd start waking up and I'd wake up with a start because I'd hear the sound of footsteps stomping up the staircase 
And by the time I was awake, I knew that I was alone in the house because my wife had gone out to work by then. So I'd wake up with a start thinking, who's that? On quite a few occasions, I'd jump up, same as I did when I heard the noise at the front door, and I'd run out and check there wasn't anyone in the house. Because, you know, if you can imagine waking up alone in the house to the sound of someone running up the staircase, heavy footsteps, you'd go and check it out. But I could never find anyone, and I put it down to some kind of weird side effect of the tablets I was taking. I hear they can affect your dreams in a funny way, but it, it would always happen in the same way. I'd hear it was either the sound of like a door slamming or somebody running up the stairs. Those experiences seemed to subside, but I started to hear weird noises in the house. In the last few weeks, I would say, I've noticed them more and more. The most common sound is it's almost like there's an animal in the house. There have been a number of occasions while I've been in the house on my own where I've heard a strange noise almost like the cry of an animal. A fox makes a noise a bit like a person screaming. I thought maybe it would be similar to that. It wasn't quite the same sound after looking it up, but I, I thought maybe it's the sound of a fox. But the weird thing is, I would hear this noise in the middle of the day. And you know when you hear a noise and you know it's outside. I've heard cats outside fighting. I know what that sounds like. But you know when you hear a sound and you know that it comes from inside the house. It's just got a different quality to it. It sounds a lot louder, a lot closer, and you just know it's not something outdoor. You know it's come from inside the house. And it was so clear that I have actually gone around my house looking in every, like, I've got a cupboard under the stairs. I, I, was, I was sure that there was an animal trapped somewhere in the house. Could it be a cat or a dog or a fox or something? It sounded like the cry of an animal. It didn't sound like particularly human. I don't know. I, this was, like I say, it was so vivid. I went around the house. I looked in all the like cupboards I could think of. I thought, what if an animal's got in while I've had the back door open? It's got trapped in a cupboard somewhere. That's the only explanation I could think for this sound. And it was so honestly so clear. And I think you just, I think you might know when I say like when you hear a sound and you just know it's come from inside the house. It's not something outside the building. I've heard that sound about two or three times now. Usually it's in the middle of the day. There was one time where I was going to bed, it was probably about three in the morning. Usually before I go to bed I check all everything downstairs, check the ovens off, check everything's turned off and the doors are locked and the windows are shut and things like that. Do a little security sweep of the house before I go to sleep. And I remember walking out into the hallway where I'd heard this shuffling noise a couple of years before. And this is like the last light I switch off is that hallway light. And as I switched it off, I heard that noise and it was almost like it was right next to me. I didn't know what to think, but I heard it clear as day and it sounded like it was right next to me. And I honestly, I jumped out of my skin just as I switched off the light to the hallway. So you can imagine me, all the other lights in the house are off and I've got this one last light to switch off. Usually what I do is I switch this light off downstairs and then I try and I make my way up the stairs in pitch darkness because I, I know my way around the house so well. Switch the light off, plunge it into pitch darkness and I suddenly hear this scream noise from right next to me and I shit my pants. <laughs> and yeah, I switched the light back on, looked around, there was, there was nothing there and I thought, it's got to be something outside. So got my shoes on, went outside the house at like three in the morning, did a little patrol and that, honestly there was nothing there. If I'm honest with myself, it didn't sound like it came from outside the house. I think I was just doing that to reassure myself. It sounded like it came from right next to where I was standing. But I don't know whether these things have got stronger since I've started bringing these strange items into the house. I've been doing these eBay unboxing videos and bringing weird things into the house that maybe I shouldn't. See, I've still got this um, devil's toy box sitting there in the attic, not doing anything. The last few weeks it seems to have been ramping up. The things that are happening in my house, the strange noises. And last night, and this is what prompted me to make this video, I sit in a little back bedroom. I turned it into a, like a little office. It's a real mess in here. It's just piled with books and things that I've been working on. And uh, I sit here late at night, editing videos and things. and. I was up last night, it was about 2 in the morning. If you watched my video where it unboxed the mystery box unboxing, after filming that video, I brought the box upstairs and I just put it into my office. So the box is just behind me sitting there doing nothing. But I'm sat here and I've got the door closed. And I turn to my side, because you know when something catches your eye, sort of like a little movement catches your eye. It was gone within half a second. As I looked at it, it pretty much vanished. But I saw like where my door is. And I'll, I'll actually film my door because I'll be able to highlight it better. So yeah, 
I'm sat here just uh, editing something or watching videos or something like that. So I turn to my side and this is my, my door here. And it was like out the corner of my eye, but as I look at it, I see it more clearly and then it vanishes. And it was like a shimmer. There's the only way I could describe it. Almost like, you know when light reflects on like a, a body of water and then it reflects onto a wall and you see like a shimmer. It was like that almost, maybe slightly more angular. I can't really, it's really hard to describe. It almost looked like, if you remember the old Windows screensaver where it was a load of sticks and they kind of created like a trail effect and it bounced all over the screen. It was like that, but it was yellow and it was like a shimmer. The only way I can describe it really is a shimmer and it was on the door. And as I turned, I looked at it and then it was gone. It was like so brief, I got, caught a glimpse of it, but it was clear and I, I definitely saw it and there wasn't any like it was middle of the night the only light source was the light above me there wasn't any you know there wasn't any sort of light from outside like sunlight or anything that could be causing a strange light effect sometimes cars drive past a headlight could have gone along the wall but it wasn't like that it was like a shimmering light like the reflection of water but more angular but yeah I, I don't know I can't describe it very well. I'll try and recreate it maybe with some like effects or something. I don't know how I'll be able to do it, but yeah, that's the that was the most recent thing that happened last night. I don't know. I don't seem to have any good explanation for it. Yeah, I thought it would be good to just start recording any weird things that happen in the house. I don't know. See, I'd love to set up like a camera or something to record. I haven't really got a good camera. Maybe I'd have to get like a trail cam or something like that with with night vision and see what I can record. But um, yeah, there definitely seems to be an escalation of things in my house right at the minute. And it just feels like it all started like two years ago when I built the devil's toy box and did the shoebox telephone ritual. A bit of an impromptu video. Um, I just started hitting, I just hit record on my computer and decided to try and share some of the things that had been happening to me recently. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated. If anything else happens in the future, I'll let you know. But um, so far, I get the feeling there's something else that happened, which I, I can't, I'm forgetting about. Oh yeah, another thing is um, a few weird things have happened where my wife has woken up in the night and seen things stood by the bed. Because I come to bed a lot later than her. It might just be that I'm kind of waking her up out of a sleep state slightly and she's half dreaming. But there was one time where she like started shouting. I was probably already in bed or just climbing into bed and she said she woke up and she saw a figure stood at the end of the bed. It was a man wearing a baseball cap just standing there looking at us both. And she thought there was a burglar in the house and she shouted for me because she didn't realise I was just there next to her. And she screamed and I was like, what, what, what? You know, woke her up. She woke up a bit more and the figure was gone. Another time something weird happened was, I'll give you like the layout of the house. It's our, be our bedroom door. And then there's a hallway which is tiny and then there's a toilet door at the end of the hall. We were both in bed and she woke up in the night and I, I know I was in bed at this time but she said she woke up in the night, noticed the bed was empty and she thought, where is he? Why hasn't he come to bed yet? Because it was, you know, early morning. So she got out of bed, got up, looked over the banister of the stairs. Because usually if I'm still awake she can look over the banister and she'll see that the lights are on downstairs or something like that. But she said she got up and looked over the banister and all the lights were off. The house was completely silent. So she went to the toilet, walked back to the bedroom and then got into bed and I was there. But she was convinced the bed was completely empty. And then when she got back to bed, I was there. And there was, like I said, the hallway's so small. There's no way I could have walked past her to the bedroom without meeting each other on the way. I know I was in bed at the time. So where was I? Was I abducted by aliens or... Something like that. What happened at that point? I don't know. Very odd. No, I thought I'd share that all the weird things that have been happening in the house. Those those weird dream sleep things happened probably about a year ago, so they weren't like recent, but I thought I'd add them. Anyway, um, I've probably rambled on long enough. I just wanted to share this because strange things have been happening and seem to be happening more recently. So, yeah, let me know what you think. And I'll see you on the next video.